So that's it. That's the clinical assessment documentation covered for every placement. You now know what every section means and how to interpret the content of the assessment tool. Now, is everybody clear on how to use it? Yes. Do you want me to go through any part of the assessment documentation again? No. Okay. Enjoy your week's holiday and you'll go on your practice place for your time. Julie, I'd like to discuss how you prioritise patient care. It says here in your learning documentation as one of your learning outcomes, begins to select and utilise resources effectively and efficiently. So you need to ask for help with your patient care if the ward is busy and you cannot get the work done on your own. And you need to prioritise the work. For example, the other day I pointed out to you that you were chatting with a patient although lunches were coming and some patients needed help to be fed and there were bells going off. Okay, I think I'm really good with resources. I'm very careful with everything I use, such as dressing packs and bed linen and so on. I also felt that my patient wanted to talk, so I prioritised that. We were always told at the school that building a trusting nurse-patient relationship is, is most important. Yes, but you didn't notice that the patient's lunch was getting cold in front of her, and there was other work that needed to be done. If you don't improve using your resources efficiently, you may not achieve this learning outcome. So are you saying you're not going to sign off my learning outcome for me? No, I cannot sign it. You haven't achieved it yet. Hello, Peter Schumann, School of Nursing. Hi, this is Julie. I'm your third year student nurse. I'm on placement on the medical ward at the moment. Oh, hi Julie. What can I do for you? The practice-based teacher won't sign off on my assessment document. She says I'm not using my resources effectively. But you said resources were how we use equipment. Jeanette also says that it's also other staff and that I talk too much with patients. We were always told the nurse-patient relationship is really important. So, so Jeanette Miller is working with you on that? Yes. Okay, can you tell me why you think that Jeanette said that you're talking too much with patients and why you're not using your resource as well? I was getting to know my patient, but she said there was other work, like lunches and bells, that I needed to do. Okay, and what about resources? Jeanette says I need to prioritise better. And that I need to get the other nurses to help me with my work if my workload is too much. I don't understand. I'm being very economical with dressing packs and linen, for example. Oh, okay, Julie. I'll speak to Jeanette about it and I'll get back to you. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. That would be helpful. Hello. Oh, hi, this is uh, Peter Schumann from the School of Nursing. May I speak with Jeanette Miller, please? Oh, hi, yes, uh, speaking. Oh, hi, Jeanette. I need to speak to you about one of your students, uh, Julie. She called to say that she was, uh, there was a problem with one of her learning outcomes on the assessment documentation. Now, she said that... <laughs> yes, Julie mentioned that what you meant by resources was equipment. But on this ward, and, and for me, it's much more about how you use your own skills and how you would ask other staff for help if you needed it. It's much more than just equipment. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised. I mean, the, the student is very articulate in class. And I explained to them in the workshops prior to the placement that resources could be many different things. Is she using any resources well? Well, sometimes she is. She did ask me for help to get a patient out of bed the other day. Yeah. It says here in the documentation that the student begins to select. 
You know, it's important for us that the student is developing. 